Imagine landing at an airport where you never stop walking. No passport checks, no baggage claims, just you moving seamlessly from plane to destination. Science fiction? Nope. It's Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport, a $300 billion mega project that's about to make your current travel nightmares obsolete. What if I told you this single airport will handle more passengers than the top three busiest airports in the world? Combined? The future of air travel isn't coming. It's being built right now in the desert. Let's talk size because this thing is massive. Al Maktoum International actually opened back in 2010, but mostly for cargo flights. Right now it handles less than a million passengers annually. That's about to change dramatically. When fully completed, we're looking at five parallel runways spread across 36,000 acres. That's 55 square miles. For comparison, Manhattan Island is only 23 square miles. This airport will literally be more than twice the size of Manhattan. Think about that for a second. An airport larger than the most famous island city in the world. The terminal will feature 400 aircraft gates. 400. Most international airports consider 50 gates to be substantial. London Heathrow has 115 gates and is considered one of the world's major hubs. Al Maktoum will have nearly four times that number. But here's the number that changes everything. 260 million. That's how many passengers this airport will handle each year when fully operational. Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson, currently the world's busiest airport, manages about 90 million. This single airport will handle nearly three times that volume. That's roughly equivalent to moving the entire population of the United States through one building every year. The first phase alone, approved in April 2024 with a $35 billion price tag, will enable 150 million passenger capacity by 2030. They're building Concourse 1 to stretch 1.7 miles with nearly 19 million square feet of space. You could fit 330 football fields inside just this first concourse, and that's just the airport itself. They're also constructing an entire airport city around it that will house up to a million residents. This isn't just an airport, it's a metropolis centered around air travel, a city whose primary purpose is to connect people to the skies. So how exactly do you move 260 million people through an airport each year without creating the world's biggest traffic jam? Technology, lots of it. The entire passenger journey will be powered by artificial intelligence, systems that predict crowd flows, allocate resources in real time, and continuously optimize operations. Think of it as an invisible orchestra conductor, constantly adjusting thousands of variables to keep everything flowing smoothly. Forget fumbling for your passport and boarding pass. The entire journey will use biometrics. Your face becomes your passport. From the moment you enter the airport to the moment you board, facial recognition will seamlessly move you through each checkpoint. No more queues at immigration. No more showing your documents five different times. Have you ever wondered what happens to your bag after check-in? At Al Maktoum, robots will handle most of that work. Autonomous vehicles will shuttle between terminals. Robotic baggage handlers will process millions of bags daily with inch-perfect precision. Automated assistants will guide lost travelers to their gates. The entire facility will essentially function as a giant computer. Thousands of sensors embedded throughout the structure will monitor everything constantly. Even maintenance will be automated with these sensors detecting everything from broken escalators to spills that need cleaning before you even notice a problem. And all of this will be achieved while dramatically reducing the airport's environmental footprint. The design includes massive solar arrays that take advantage of Dubai's desert sunshine, water recycling systems that use 40% less water than standard airports, and a zero waste to landfill goal. For a facility this size in the desert, that's an engineering miracle. The level of technological integration here makes other smart airports look primitive in comparison. This isn't just applying tech to old airport designs. It's reimagining what an airport can be when built around these technologies from the ground up. But why build something this enormous? The answer is simple, economic dominance. This airport cements Dubai's position as the ultimate global connection point between East and West. Located within an eight-hour flight of two-thirds of the world's population, 
It's ideally positioned to be the world's premier transfer hub. The numbers are staggering. The project will create over 300,000 jobs directly and indirectly. It will handle 12 million tons of cargo annually, and it's expected to contribute about 28% to Dubai's entire GDP. This is Dubai's strategy to diversify beyond oil. By building the world's most important aviation hub, they're creating an economic engine that will power the Emirate for decades. It's also a direct counter to Saudi Arabia's ambitious Vision 2030 plans, which include massive airport expansions of their own. The aviation rivalry between these Gulf neighbors is creating a space race for the skies. Emirates, already one of the world's largest long-haul carriers, will relocate entirely to the new airport, supercharging its growth strategy and allowing it to connect even more global destinations. What will it actually feel like to travel through this mega airport? Despite its enormous size, they're designing it to minimize walking. Concourse One alone will equal all three concourses at Dubai International combined, but with more efficient layouts. The terminal will process over 100 A380 Super Jumbo aircraft simultaneously. No small feat considering each can carry up to 615 passengers. A 14-station people mover system will operate in a full loop throughout the airport, whisking travelers between gates and terminals. For premium travelers, airline lounges will cover over 10,000 square meters with luxury amenities that make current first-class lounges look basic. Shopping attics, brace yourselves. Retail spaces will span more than 27,000 square meters, featuring everything from luxury brands to local artisans. But perhaps most importantly, they're solving the worst pain points of modern air travel. Immigration queues, virtually eliminated through technology. Long connection times? Significantly reduced despite larger distances. Weather delays during boarding? Eliminated with fully enclosed gates. Of course, building the world's largest airport doesn't happen overnight. The project is being developed in phases. Phase one began construction in 2016 and is targeted for completion by 2030. Phase two will add a second parallel concourse the final phase will add concourses three and four, an east terminal, and rail connections. What does that mean for you? More direct flights to more places, easier connections, less time wasted in airports. The entire global transportation network is being re-optimized around these new super hubs. If you found this exploration of the future of travel fascinating, make sure to hit that like button and share with friends who love travel or engineering marvels. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to catch our next deep dive into the innovations reshaping our world. What feature of this mega airport excites you most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.